Let's just take a minute to talk about Jack Butland, if I may, if that's okay with everybody in the chat. Um, Jack Butland could be got on a short-term deal, potentially. We can do business with championship clubs, with Stoke City, or if I've missed another goalkeeper, somebody else. Is it right that we do that now? What message would that send out to Adrian, send out to Adrian, and what message would that send out to Creevy and Kelleher? Now, if we were to go out and get somebody in, May it signal that Jurgen Klopp looks at the Allison situation and thinks that it could even be a little bit longer than the four to six weeks that have been put out there. Um, he did say that he was a little bit lucky that the injury wasn't as bad as it could have been. Other injuries in this particular area of his body have dragged out longer, he said. So I want to have a conversation around the possibility of a Jack Butlin coming in. And I think it makes sense. I do think it makes sense on a short-term deal. I don't want to bring up Stephen Caldwell before, you know, the only loan sign that I can think of that Kloppo was brought into the club, or that was at the club when Kloppo came, I should say. This one I could see making sense on a short-term deal. Now, obviously, we may grease the wheels a little bit here. We may have a young player or something that we can send in the opposite direction. You know, you can be creative around this time. Uh, and this is where I want to see Liverpool get creative, and I want us to go out there and bring somebody in because look as much as I will support Adrian if he's between the sticks the fact is I just don't think that there's confidence there anymore with the defence and the rest of the team in Adrian um, look I don't know from uh, this as a fact of course I don't I'm not inside that dressing room I don't speak to the players but facial expressions and body language tell you a lot and you could see the expression on Van Dijk's face four minutes into the game against Aston Villa when Adrian used his wrong foot and made a misplaced pass towards Gomez, if my memory is correct. Uh, Grealish intercepted. They pulled it across. Nolly Watkins scored the goal. Um, maybe somebody like Butlin will just give us a steady hand for the time being. A bit of an experienced head. Maybe this is pie in the sky stuff. I don't know. But it is just a possibility. And it's something that I wanted your opinion on. So if you're watching this back later on. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Um, whether you think there's another keeper that maybe I'm missing out on. Maybe you think this is all rubbish. And I'm being very unfair to Adrian. Or whether you've got another um, option. That you think it would be worth Liverpool looking at. I have no idea by the way of the availability. Whether Stoke would just tell us to go away. If we came a knocking. But as I said all this comes from Paul Robinson speaking. And I think to Inside Football, or uh, I think it's Inside Football, if my memory is correct, on this. And it's opened up, I suppose, not a can of worms, but a conversation among Liverpool fans. Um, I've been on social media today having a read of what people are saying about the situation. And look, I do think it's fair to say that Adrian will cause nerves. I think going into the derby... We're all going to be nervous. The ball goes back to the keeper. Do you remember the feeling with Simon Mignolet? Do you remember that time where every time the ball went back to him, you were just hoping, just you know, just put your foot through it, or you know, send it long, or just, just that nerve. I remember it. I can't shake that feeling, and it was one that was all around the ground. And I think sometimes goalkeepers just get to a point where the road to redemption isn't there anymore, and. I don't know if that is the time for Adriana. To be fair to him, he was coming in as a backup goalkeeper. Even he didn't probably expect to play the amount of games that he did. Probably wasn't expecting to play in the Super Cup final. Um, and I don't like to be critical of Liverpool players. But I'm also honest in my assessment. And first and foremost, I'm a fan. And this game against Everton has taken on massive significance after the result against Villa. And I'm sure that everyone's going to be fired up. And I'm sure Klopp will have the guys at 100%. But I'm also sure that when Robbo has the ball on the left-hand side or Trent has the ball on the right-hand side and he's being pressed and he looks to his, their left or their right and they see a ball onto the keeper, will they think twice about it? Will they maybe just turn and try a ball up the line where they usually try and play out from the back? My my belief is yet they probably just put their foot through it rather than go back to the goalkeeper because they don't have that confidence it's a, it's a horrible situation to talk about. And look, it's it's one of a few headaches that we have with regards to the team. So let me know your thoughts on that anyway. Uh, get Butlin now. Adrian, wrong choice. Squeaky bum time. Repeat offender. And that's a very important point. Repeat offender. That is the important point here. I mean, you can point and say that Alisson has made numerous mistakes, which he probably has. But as a goalkeeper, sometimes it's not just about making the mistake. It's about when you make the mistake. And how that mistake costs the team. We've been knocked out of the Champions League. We've been um, beaten convincingly by Villa and confidence shot in that game because of an error in the fourth minute. Um, that can't be just brushed under the carpet. It's psychologically, that does scar 
whether it scars him as a goalkeeper and I'm sure that he's working with a psychologist and I'm sure that John Achterberg will be coaching him and the vibe around the club will be fantastic and they'll be getting behind him. But it's still a ruthless business and at this moment in time, Liverpool probably should be exploring options whether anything comes with them or not. I guess time will tell and we'll have to wait and see. But of all the players, I mean, Alisson and Van Dijk right now, there's just two players at Liverpool Football Club really cannot replace um, our front three we've gone out and we've brought cover in for them Jota is a fantastic piece of business Takumi Minamino at 7.25 million I think will end up looking like daylight robbery a couple of seasons down the line um, and it's tough because when we're all looking at the transfer window you have a, a tiered list of positions and we would have said this year Thiago was a bit of a bonus kind of came out of nowhere and we all wanted it and it happened and it's amazing uh, still the fact that he's a Liverpool player right in the prime of his career is brilliant then you looked you wanted a left back to come in to give back up to Andy Robertson and we got that in Costa Simicus very good piece of business again by the club we moved on Dejan Lovren and you ask yourself about the centre back situation that was kind of resolved if you look at the Fabinho option and can be resolved further in the future whether it be through Billy Comedio, Reese Williams, um, Sepp van den Berg, or going out into the market. We've also got Joel Matip who will be coming back. So then you start going down through the list of potential areas in the pitch. And backup goalkeeper is one we've spoken about on the channel. We've banged on about Erga Khan Kikir for a while as well. There is an opportunity for us to do a little something something here now to tide us over for the time being. And I think it's an avenue that Liverpool need to be exploring. Oh God, I hate this part. I really hate being critical of anything that we do, but as a former keeper myself, albeit nowhere near the level that these boys are at, I know when you've got the yips of to want of a better term and he'll have doubts in his own mind and as much, ah, oh, it's a horrible scenario, folks. I feel so bad being on here talking about maybe short-term replacing a, a Liverpool player. He's one of ours at the end of the day and I, I don't know. There's also the whole thing about has he really fronted up to his mistakes enough or, you know, does he even deserve, does he have to front up to his mistakes enough? I mean, we've seen Carrius be more public in his apology and some Liverpool fans have, have put the same back at Adrian. I, I don't know where I stand on that, to be honest with you. I think if a player wants to put his hands up or not, I mean, I suppose it's probably an individual thing. I don't think they, the fans have any right to demand it in any way, shape or form. I think it's an individual choice from the player, but um, I just can't shake the feeling that I, it's too big. This next four or five weeks is just too big for the club. That Merseyside derby, if we lose that, that'll put more pressure on these players. And, and the questions will be asked. And you know the media will be going in two-footed as well on Liverpool to try and make out like we're starting to fall apart and the wheels are coming off. So yeah, this is such a big game coming up, folks. And again, I want to know your thoughts on this in the comment section. Let me know below. Do you think Jack Butland will be a good piece of business? Is there anybody else in there? Um, again, let me know your thoughts.